I'm having a beach picnic. And I'm going to bring shrimp salad, pasta pesto, and peas, and my favorite lemon cake. It transports really well to the beach. So I'm going to show you how to make this. If you can make this lemon cake, you can make any cake. I've got room temperature butter, half a pound, and two cups of sugar that I've been mixing in the mixer until it's really light and fluffy. Then I'm going to add four room temperature eggs. I'm going to add the eggs one at a time and just let them get incorporated into the butter and sugar. Okay, the next thing I'm going to put in is a third of a cup of grated lemon zest. And that goes in. Mm, wonderful. Okay, then I have to put together my dry ingredients and wet ingredients. First, the wet ingredients. I have a quarter of a cup of fresh lemon juice that I've squeezed. Buttermilk, which is great. It's a low-fat um, milk that's got a culture in it. So a quarter of a cup of lemon juice plus three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. And the next thing's vanilla. I love the smell of vanilla. I figure out how to put it into almost every baked product. So a teaspoon of vanilla. Now the dry ingredients. So that's three cups of flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of salt. Salt's surprisingly important in baking things. Really brings out the lemon in the lemon cake. And I'm just going to sift these together. Sifting really combines it, but it also makes sure that there's nothing in the bottom. So I want to put them in alternately, starting and ending with the dry ingredients, just until it's mixed. And then add the wet ingredients. This keeps the batter from getting too thick or too runny, and it keeps it really light. The great thing about this recipe is it's, in fact, better the next day. So if you're having a party, it's really great to make it in advance. And then the last flour. So that's it. I've got the dry ingredients, the wet ingredients, and I'm just going to give it one more mix with a spatula and make sure it's really well mixed. Mm, you can smell all the fresh lemon. Wonderful. Just one more mix with a spatula. Okay. Right over here. I've got two baking pans that I've greased and floured and have a little piece of parchment paper on the bottom. So there's no point in making a delicious cake if you can't get it out of the pan. And divide this up evenly. That looks about even, right? Looks good. So they're going to bake 350 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. And after they come out, I have a simple syrup made of lemon juice and sugar. And I'm going to drizzle it on the top, and it soaks in. And it just has such a fresh lemon flavor. And it keeps it incredibly moist.